Hello everybody and welcome to something that we haven't really done before, it's a Sims 2 speed build. Now this is a university dormitory for all the Sims in our legacy challenge, let's play that we're doing at the minute. That we're going, we're sending five of our teenagers um, to university right now. So. I thought it would make a nice dormitory for them that has like loads and loads of skilling opportunities and stuff like that. Because of the way the university was added in The Sims 2, I think it was one of the earlier expansions. So there's a lot of stuff afterwards that have been added in since that you know I wanted to take advantage of. So that was the aim. Plus I just wanted to make something a bit interesting. It does change a bit from this, like, first thing. So I was like, actually, I kind of want to have more room so we can have even more students here. And it is a fully functioning door. I've got it to work. Um, I have slightly tested it or more. Or I just moved everybody in and someone comes and makes food, basically. So that's what we want. I think it ends up having, what? There's two bedrooms on this floor, six on the one above, and then I think another four. So what, there's 12 rooms in this dorm, so there's going to be a nice variety of sims for them to meet, you know, hang out with, and maybe fall in love with, and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't think we're going to keep rotating everybody at this stage, because now we're just getting to the point where we have so many sims in this family, where, you know, it's coming a little bit like unsustainable to keep up with like the rotation so we may keep like one from each family to be an heir for that family and keep on moving like that um, but we will give Brooke a chance to have a family and everything I think before we like say that she can't have one because then that gives her a chance like the rest of her sisters have had because she's now the same age as what all of her little nieces <laughs> so yeah but that's fine now, I had some real good fun making this but the only thing is is when you go from one like build system to another it is always a little bit confusing to try and get used to everything again but there we go It's lots of fun doing this and it was really cool. I also like the fact that we have loads of different colours and it ends up looking amazing. If I don't say so myself. So yeah, we've got the six dorms here and I'm like, mm, actually, how many people have we taken to university? I want to make sure we have enough space for them all. And it's like, we used the upstairs and I was like, oh, for God's sake, I just wanted to put a bit of fence in there and it just wouldn't let me. Really, I should have tried to move objects on, but I didn't. So, there we go. I have really, I don't really use move objects on in, like, this version, of, in The Sims 2. I use it in The Sims 4 a lot. But not in The Sims 2, because I was like, well, I'm not too sure what I want to do with it. Plus it still doesn't have quite the flexibility like of like Sims 4. Sims 4 really knocked the build mode on the head a bit, I think. Try to say. Okay. And when you're looking through all this, you see so much stuff and it, a lot of it is very dated, but it is really funky. But then, this game is really old now, isn't it? So, what? Well, um, Sims 4, we've had Sims 3. I don't even the Sims 3 looks a little dated now, but there we go. What can we say? Yeah. This is like one of my favourite builds I've done for a long time. Well, yeah. 
So I did enjoy doing the August challenge for um, Spring Sims. So that was the last build on the channel, wasn't it? But I enjoyed challenging myself to you like kind of build with a different game. Because I don't often do like a big build in the Sims 4. I suppose the last one we did was the house and that's alright. Hasn't quite turned out how I'd want it to, but this is looking good. I like this a lot. And yes, we've got flowers, so we're probably gonna have to hire a garden a gardener and we're probably gonna hire a maid too to keep it all tidy. But I find that's something that is quite necessary when you have like a dorm to keep it tidy. And we'll have a nice little garden patch, so if people want they can plant flowers and stuff like that. It's gonna be good. well not flowers, but like vegetables. And we've got all the different kinds of trees. So yeah. And to make a room a dorm, you need to cheat with ball prop ball prop first. And it's something like I can't quite remember the cheat. But you need to make sure you have in that stove. I think these counters too to make it function as a dorm tree and the sprinklers. That is what you need to make it work. And obviously you need like the dorm tree doors and stuff like that. But those are like the obvious bits. And we have loads and loads of tables and chairs. So they can study in here. Well, they'll probably end up doing like papers and stuff or who knows what. Yeah, it kind of glitched out at times. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, actually, I kind of want to make more rooms. So that's what we do. Again, we're using all the same floors. But this time, slightly different colours in the bathroom. Because, you know, I thought, well, these are on a different floor. We can have a different colour. Because why not? And then I'm like, oh yeah, let's um make it so the roof extends. And then we're going to use this roof as like a massive, well, it has like loads of chess balls on in the end and what else? Oh, basketball and telescopes and stuff. So it's going to be a lovely functional like area. And I do realise in a bit that I haven't put windows in. Like when I come back to this. So yeah, we put in all our windows. And I'm pretty pleased how it's looking. Yeah, so in the end we have like a music room, a painting room, well an art room we'll say, and a gym upstairs. The only thing we don't really have properly is a proper like communal room. I didn't really think of that and we didn't have a space and Christmas cactus. Why? But why not? It is really cool looking. Gotta say, if we were in Strange Town, we would have a Christmas cactus. <laughs> Sometimes the doors were like not happy of going in to all those small spaces for the showers, but they've got to learn to like it. So here we are, we're now into the furnishing. And I was a little unsure what bed to go and we go for these ones that are converted from the Sims 3 University Life. A lot of the furniture is from that or the IKEA stuff pack I think that we use in the bedrooms anyway. I just really like how these beds look. Also I think I could do some more duvet covers. But hey. Maybe not. We did manage to use like a lot of different ones, so it's all good. And it was pretty much one to suit every room colours of choice that we had, so I was pretty pleased with that. And we don't have screenshots of all the rooms because they end up being quite similar, just with different colours. Plus, when I went through and took the screenshots, I used fraps because the the Sims like own camera in Sims 2 is pretty pounds so you want to use something to screenshot with. So 
I was using fraps and I kept forgetting to press F10 instead of C. So there would have been more screenshots at the end, but there is not. It's one of the good things about The Sims 4 is the camera is pretty spot on. Though you probably find that in a couple of years it won't be. But then actually even when The Sims 2 was new I remember using fraps to take my screenshots that I shared online at the time. Because you know, I used to be a part of The Sims community. I kind of trying to get back into it now, but it's changed a lot from back in The Sims 2 days. So yeah. Plus I've changed my username and stuff, so who knows? I doubt anybody remembers me. But I used to go on the in Sim forums and stuff like that. Because you know, there was a big mod in The Sims 2 days was in sim. I haven't even got it installed anymore because um, it was unsupported and everything for a while and a whole lot of drama happened around that so we won't go we won't go into that. Oh oh damn I was meant to cut that out. I'm sorry but yeah Sims 2 is a bit of a pain to record at times. If you like go off the screen it takes forever to come back up. That would have been a lot longer if we hadn't got this up to eight speed. But we have, so it's better. I was trying to get things on these desks to make them more like decorative, but I think you need a mod for that. I'm pretty sure I remember having a mod to do that kind of thing. Oh, that could even be an in Sims 3. But then I didn't really custom content my Sims 3 that much. It was Sims 2 I used to use a lot in. I'm not sure. Actually, I used to use it quite a lot in Sims 3 actually. But it was mainly Sims 2 that I used to use a lot. And we don't really have that many toilets on this lot. But we have quite a lot. There's enough like for one type of each, each sim to use one at a time, I think. So if we have lots of guests, we may struggle, but apart from that it's pretty good. I just realised how like small the bathrooms were once we had like all the showers and stuff in, so and there's other music in here. Great. No, I really like how this has turned out and it's gonna be great to be able to get all the different skills in and everything like that. You know? There's lots of opportunities for people to skill. Because that is a big part of like going to university is you need to get all those skills up. And really, I should have decorated the rooms more, but when you first move into university, your rooms are pretty bare. You know, you just have a bed. Well, when I moved into this, I had a bed, a desk, and a little, like, ensuite shower room, and that was my room for the first year. Second year was a bit different because I had, like, a little tiny studio apartment. And I only did a foundation degree, so I only did two years. So yeah. But this is quite a realistic expectation of like a dorm. It's a bit big in places and the ones I had didn't have like we had like a kitchen slash common room in the area where we like when I was like in a proper shared like dorm area. And yeah, basically getting to the end now. Yeah, we're at the end, we're in the screenshots. So I hope you have enjoyed this um, Sims 2 build video. If you have, please give this video a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.